you going to sing a song for yes. us both together? Okay, thank you. My mum's a millionaire, big feet and curly hair. See her walking down the street with a big banana feet. My mum's a millionaire. I L O V E love you and K I S is kiss you and the D A R K dog 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 and the P A R K pop pop pop. Somewhere over the rainbow skies are blue, and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Can I go in now? <laughs> And first of all, Django, Django is going to make himself up to look like a clown. And afterwards, you are going to make yourselves up to look like clowns as well. But first of all, we've got to show you how to do it. Django will begin to show you. Okay. It's the holidays, and the idea was to bring them together so that they could participate in some sort of workshop. And children's feelings towards clowns are such that we thought this was a, something to hook it on to and for them to come in. And rather than just sort of muck about to try and make something specific for the morning. We hooked onto the idea of, of the clown's workshop. So you gotta cover up your real eyebrows sometimes. Well the makeup is really it's just a mask. It's all developed from a mask work. In fact they did all wear full masks and gradually the mask has diminished until the only mask now that the clown wears is the red nose because the red nose says everything. I mean if I just uh, turn around and suddenly turn back the red nose on the chances are that at least two or three people would laugh because it has an identification with a certain state of affairs. The rest is just a, a special identification for that particular clown. They will develop their own specific makeup, you know. Ready? One, two, three, here I go. There you go we then uh, take them for what we call a workshop, which is really just a series of games and uh, gymnastic feats, because they are, in fact, the things that clowns would have to do. They feel it's towards an end product of becoming a clown. And they've got their funny hats and their makeup on, and um, they do these exercises for, for a matter of 20 minutes, half an hour. The group work that they do is obviously probably the most important, because it's in this sort of group work that they are able to identify with the various acts in the circus. And then the idea is that at the end we could put together our own circus and introduce the various acts. It's very difficult for people to just be a clown. There's a tremendous sort of feeling of inhibition at the beginning. Of course, kids don't have this. This is the joy of it. Quick, take a swig and gargle and spit it out. Go, go, go. The great thing about the whole project is that they just come and enjoy themselves. If they've done that, then we've succeeded, I think. <laughs> 